hands-on math. This video describes how to find the Gini index for a given Lorenz uh, function. Suppose the distribution of wealth in a certain country is described by the Lorenz function f of x equals x to the 4.3 power. Uh, and we'd like to find, uh, to calculate, uh, the Gini index. <coughs> the Lorenz function describes the percentage of the population, the, the, the wealth owned by the poorest x percent of the population. Um, and so it passes from 0, 0 to 1, 1. Uh, and our function here passes from 0, 0 to 1, 1. Uh, and it kind of curves upward like this. The Gini index measures inequality by comparing the given Lorenz curve x to the 4.3 uh, to the line y equals x, which would represent a perfectly equal distribution. Uh, and what the Gini index is, it's the, the area between these two curves, uh, and then to get, the, because the largest that area could possibly be is um, one half, uh, if, if the population, if the distribution was completely unequal, uh, the area under the curve would be one-half, uh, the area of this little triangle, uh, which goes from 0, 0 to 1, 1. So, you know, with that in mind, that area, the maximum it could be is one-half, and so to get a nice Gini index number that goes between 0 and 100, uh, that falls between 0 and 100, we take that number uh, and multiply by 200. Uh, so that gives us an expression for the Gini index. The Gini index equals 200 times the integral from 0 to 1 of x, representing the line for equality, complete equality, uh, minus the given Lorenz function, in this case x to the 4.3. Um, and we can calculate that in a couple of ways, uh, using the fundamental theorem of calculus. Uh, is pretty straightforward, so uh, finding a antiderivative, we get 1 half x squared minus um, x to the 5.3 divided by 4.3. I'm sorry, divided by 5.3. Um, by adding 1 to each exponent and then dividing by the new exponent. And I want to evaluate those values at 0 and 1. Sorry, my notation got a little bit cramped here. Uh, but that gives us, you know, plugging in 1, well, 1 raised to any power is just going to be 1, so plugging in 1 gives us 1 half minus 1 over 5.3, and of course plugging in 0 just gives us 0, um, so we end up with a Gini index of um, 200 times 1 half, or 100, minus 200 divided by 5.3. So we can calculate that here pretty quickly, 100 minus 200 divided by 5.3 gives us a Gini index of 62.3. Um, another way to evaluate this uh, integral uh, is with the function integration command uh, that's available on a T83 or a T84. Uh, and so to do that, let me show uh, that here. It's under the math menu. Option 9, so you can go down to 9 or just type the number 9 uh, and hit enter. And then uh, we want to enter the integrand first. So I want to enter in x minus x raised to the 4.3 power, the original uh, integrand expression, not the antiderivative. Uh, uh, that parenthesis was a little premature. And then a comma and an x to identify the variable another comma, the lower limit, another comma, and the upper limit. So using the function integration command, we can evaluate the integral, um, but then of course to get the final answer, I want to multiply that by 200 uh, for the Gini index calculation. And we get that same 62.3 value. All right. 
So the Gini index, it, essentially, it's kind of like a percentage that represents uh, how far toward complete inequality uh, the, the country, the distribution uh, is. So this would be like 62% of the way to complete inequality. So a uh, lower Gini index represents uh, more equality, a higher Gini index represents more inequality. Thanks.